French Pop Van Coke is joining me in studio. He's just teamed up with Relate Bracelets for a project that's very near and dear to his heart. Hello. Hi. It's nice to finally meet you. I've met all of your friends and family members, but not you. Awesome. But I'm <laughs> good to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I like that um, when I came in, you said, hey, girl. That's That was cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're here to talk about your Relate bracelet. Why don't you tell us about the actual bracelet itself and what it stands for? Cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what I'm wearing uh, if you want to check it out. I don't know if you can show it to the camera, but... Uh, it's pretty uh, hardcore. Relate um, approached me mm. to do a bracelet with them, mm. um, you know, f to support some kind of cause. Yeah. And they've, they've got a, a, a lot mm. of them that they, that, that's on the market that is for sale. Mm. Um, and I decided to um, do this bracelet. It was actually quite a tough thing for me to get around because I didn't really wear any jewelry, so it was like a weird didn't thing to do. Yeah. You know, but um, but I, I think I found something that I kind of that I like, and um, hopefully the people that are into my music like. And you know, at the end of the day, if you don't like it or not, and you buy it, it's still for a good cause. Mm. Like all the money, all the proceeds from it uh, goes to young people with cancer uh, mm -hmm. through the Freda Foundation. So hopefully we can help some people along the way. Um, yeah. I'm wearing it now. It's quite nice. You're going to have that you fun. You did a good, fun. really? Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. I like when people bring me gifts. Cool. Now the Freda Foundation um, is a foundation that's quite near and dear to your heart. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been involved on and off with various projects with them over the years. Um, it was started in I think 2008, I might not have all my facts <laughs> completely straight because I'm not, uh, um, it's actually my friend Andre that runs the mm -hmm. foundation. I'm just, you know, doing this with them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been playing, they, they started out doing rock shows um, because Henry's brother, Herman, that was a very close friend of mine, he was diagnosed with cancer and he didn't have medical aid. So they started doing these shows to kind of pay his medical yeah. bills. And when they started raising more money, they um, started helping other young people with cancer in the same situation. Um, Adman died in, in 2009, mm -hmm. and Henry uh, kept on doing the foundation. So we've been doing shows. We've, I don't know if you're aware of the Blood Brother show that mm -hmm. happened last year with a lot of South African rock musos that uh, did the same thing. And yeah. uh, it's kind of to create awareness around cancer and to help young people with cancer. Now, having someone so close to you be diagnosed with cancer, what did you learn about cancer and cancer awareness in South Africa? Yeah, I think uh, I learned that someone can still party when they have cancer. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, I, I think it was obviously a sad time for us because um, Armand was a close friend. You know, mm -hmm. like, we went to we went to primary school together, we went to high school together, and after school we kind of connected from different sides. Like, he was in involved in the music industry yeah. as a journalist and... And uh, as a presenter on, on mm. shows, and and I was playing music, and we our uh, paths crossed like that again. Um, and you know, like obviously, it was hard um, to see that your friend has cancer. But we, mm. through the whole process, we always thought he was going to come out of it. Yeah. And then one day he died, and it was all over. So it, it it's a sad scenario, but it's you know, like I think people can be helped, and awareness can be created around it. And um, I think his legacy would be, you know, other people can get help. Mm. Now, if we want to get your bracelet, how do we do it? Yeah, it's it's gonna be, it's available at all my shows already. Mm -hmm. um, I've been selling them on the road for about a month now, but I'm actually only launching it properly on the 18th of February. Okay. I don't know when this will go out on the World Wide Web. It will be up before the 18th, okay, so cool. we'll keep you factually correct. Yeah, the, the 18th of Feb, um, I've got a launch show for in Cape Town at mm -hmm. the Fire and Ice. It's a free show. Obviously, the bracelets are on sale, but uh, people can come and check it out and hear some music. It will be just me and Jed, like an acoustic show like this. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the same thing at the Fire and Ice in Mainland in Pretoria on the 23rd. Um, yeah, and then it will also be available uh, off my merchandise site, which is funcokes.co.za.